Hello. So, uh, let us begin with the 15 more problems ng algebra. So, yung algebra part 1, 2 to 5, uh, nandun na yan sa YouTube. So, you must check it kasi nandun lahat ng techniques of solving it. Okay? Now, for our worded problems naman, meron ako dito ang na 15. Uh, mixture, age problem, work problem, coin problem, pati yung ating uh, arithmetic progression, nandiyan na rin yan, and binomial theorem. So, let us solve problem number 1 of 15. How many grams of gold must be added with 500 grams of an alloy containing 30% gold and 70% silver in order to produce another alloy, alloy analyzing 40% gold and 60% silver? So, turo ko nga throughout my uh, teaching dito sa algebra. Diba sabi ko, the best way for you to understand the problem is to draw it. Lalo na yung mixture problem. So, we will draw. But here, kailangan magaling ka rin sa English na intindihan mo siya. You can comprehend the problem para makasunod ka. Now, how will we solve it? Tignan nyo ha. Initially, you have 500 grams of an alloy. That contains 30% of gold and 70% silver. So, doon tayo mag-isimula. Do-drawing natin siya. So, you'll create here a box. Yan. Meron kang 500 grams nung 30%. Oh, by chemical formula, that is aurum. And then S, 70% nung silver. S lang yan ha, silver. AG pala. AG ba? Uh, silver is AG. So, hindi ako nagkakamali. And, uh, yan na yung dyan magsimula. Ngayon, magdadagdag ka daw nung how many grams. Ang problema, X ito. Hindi natin alam. So, dadagdagan mo yung mixture mo ng isa pang gold. Okay? X. That contains 100% gold. Bakit, sir, sinabing 100% gold? Kasi, how many grams of gold? So, this is pure. Okay? And, uh, ano yung main, ano nila? Ano yung magiging mixture nila? So, after mixing, ayun na nag-add ka. Ano yung total mass niya? Ano ba yung mo? Siyempre, yung 500 plus X. O, di 500 plus X. Tapos, nandito. Yung... 40% AU or gold and 60% AG, silver. Kung tama ba yung silver ko, kung naalala ko pa. So, dito sa mixture problems, ang pinag-add mo lang naman dyan, yung mass 1 plus mass 2 equal to mass total. Nandito sa dulo. Ayan. Ngayon, i-consider mo rin kung ano yung idadagdag mo. Siyempre, ang dinagdag natin is gold. O, yan yung mga mixture ng gold mo. Yung percentage by mass. Okay? Kaya nga tinuturo sa chemistry yan. Eh. So, we put this all in... Uh, we put this all in uh, calculation. So, 500. Ilang percent ba ng gold na meron ka dun sa mixture? Oh, 30% lang naman by mass. Oh, plus, dito, sa isa, 100% by mass. Oh, dito sa isa. 40% by total mass. O, di 500 plus X multiplied by 40%. Now, simplifying all the equation. So, 500 multiplied to 0.3 plus 100. Hindi 100 yan. 1 dapat yan. 1 or X na lang equal to 500 plus x, multiply to 0.4. O ngayon, calculate na natin. Uh, 0.3 times 500, 150. So, this will be 150x, 150x tuloy. 150 plus x, equal to 0.4 times 500, I bet that is 200. Plus 0.4x. Pagsamayin natin yung merong common variables. Okay. So that is uh, 1 minus 0.4. Factor out yung x. Equal to 
minus 150. Divide both sides by 0 0.6. So, x will be 200 minus 150 divided by 0.6. The answer will be 83.33 grams of gold must be added to yield the mixture. Okay? 83.3 grams. Okay, that is for problem number one. How about problem number two? How many minutes after two o'clock? Will the hands of the clock will be perpendicular for the first time? Okay. Uh, kunin ko lang dito yung sa clock. Ah. Yan. So, yung problem natin, how many minutes daw? After 2 o'clock. So, i-drawing muna natin yung 2 o'clock. Okay. This is your uh, minute hand. Yan. And then, this is your hour hand. May kli lang. So, how many minutes after 2 o'clock? Yan yung 2 o'clock mo. Will be perpendicular for the first time. Ibig sabihin, magiging first time. Meron ba dito? Siyempre, wala. Eh, this is ilang degrees na. I think this is 60 degrees na. Okay? I bet, somewhere here is your hour hand. May gagalaw yung hour hand mo. And somewhere here is the minute hand. Okay? Solve natin siya ng long method. This is perpendicular. Okay? So, from here to here, meron ka ng 30 degrees or how many minutes? 10 minutes. And from here up to here, gumalaw ang iyong minute, ang iyong hour hand ng x over 12. And from here to here, gumalaw yan ng 90 degrees. And 90 degrees is simply equal to 15 minutes. Okay. And if this is the total okay, movement of the hands of the clock, we'll denote this as x. Okay. Putting it all into equation, okay, x will be equal to yung 10 plus x over 12 plus uh, 90, 15 minutes. O, total na natin yan. 10 plus 15, that is uh, 25 plus x over 12. Pagsamahin natin lahat. Balik, multiply it all by 12, both sides. So, So, 12x equal to 12 times 25. Uh, I think that is 300. Tingnan natin, tama. Tama, 300. Plus x. Now, pagsamahin natin buo, um, 11x, kasi mamamainus na ito, equal to 300. Divide by 11. 300 divided by 11, 27. Okay. At exactly 27.27 minutes. Dan dyan daw magiging perpendicular ang hour hands mo to the minute hand for the first time. Sir, meron ba tayong shortcut dyan? Diba tinuro ko sa inyo shortcut? That, if meron kang perpendicular, opposite, or adjacent, ano pa, uh, coinciding, you just have to use this formula. 60 over 11x. Saan po siya lumampas? Okay, or saan siya below? Pwede yung 6. Try natin. 60 divided by 11. Saan siya lumampas? Sa 5 po. O, multiply mo ng 5. O, diba? Nakuha natin yung sagot. That is the shortcut. Okay, in order for you to know the uh, minute na iginalaw niya. Especially kapag opposite, perpendicular, adjacent, ano pa ba? Coinciding. Okay, in your shortcut. 
How about problem number three? It is now between It is now between 3 and 4 o'clock and 20 minutes. The hand, the minute hand will be as much as the hour hand. As it is now behind it. What is the time now? Ako, nakakalito. Kahit ako nalilito. It is now between 3 and 4 o'clock. O, lagi natin 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Mag-drawing ka parate. So, dito yan. 3 tsaka 4. Ito yung... Yung hour hand, ito yung hour hand ko sa 3. It is now between 3 and 4 o'clock and 20 minutes. The minute hand, ah, okay, between 3 and 4 o'clock. 20 minutes, the minute hand will be as much as the hour hand. So, magkoko inside as it is now behind it. Okay, magkoko inside sila. So, somewhere here, magko-coincide yung dalawa. Yung iyong hour hand and minute hand. Ano yung shortcut niyan? O, coinciding. Ano yung nilampasan niya? 3. O, di, 60 over 11 times 3 equal to. Balik ko na lang dito. That is 180 over 11, 1636. So, 3.16. Okay. Eh, sabi lang naman, oh. 20 minutes, the minute hand will be as much as the hour hand. In 20 minutes, between 3 and 4 o'clock. Kung yan. Okay. As it is now behind it. Okay. Okay, after 20 minutes pa. Okay. Pero yun yung pagkakaalam ko eh. Balikan natin to. How about number? Number to. Number four. Two times the mother's age is eight more than six times her daughter's age. So that is the condition. So, we let this as the mother's age, yung M, and then the six times her daughter's age. Ano ba yung daughter's age niya? Natin lang. Twice nung mother's age is eight more than six times nung daughter's age. Yan yung condition na binigay sa atin. Okay? Ten years ago, the sum of their ages was 44. So, ten years ago, okay? Eh di, twice of the mother's age minus 10 years ago equal to 6 okay. ah hindi, 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 dito hindi dito the sum of their ages wag yan, mali pala yan Mali yung pagkakaintindi natin dyan. That is bad. Okay? This is the condition. Binigay yung unang condition and then binigay sa'yo yung second condition. 10 years ago, so yung age ni mother, minus 10, plus yung age ni daughter, ayun, the daughter, minus 10, is 44. Ang inahanap natin is the daughter's age. So we have two equations, two unknowns. Napakadali po niyan. So, meron kang 2M minus 6D equal to 8. Okay. Equation 1. How about the equation 2? Simplify na natin to Minus 10, minus 10. Ilipat natin dito. M plus D equal to 44 plus 10. That is 54. Okay. This is problem 2. So, we have two equations, two unknowns. What better way for us to solve it is to eliminate. Okay? May elimination method tayo. Kaya lang, I do prefer, okay? Uh, pwede naman, multiply na lang natin ito ng 2. Okay? May ako na ituro yung shortcut. So, twice. 
Ang bababa natin, 2M minus 6D equal to 8. Ang hinahanap natin, daughter, diba? 2M minus 2D o oh, minus 2D tuloy, plus 2D equal to uh, 54 times 2108. Now, we can solve for the value by subtracting. Cancel na to. Negative 6, negative 2, negative 8, D equal to negative 108 tapos 8. I think that is 100. Okay. Ay, hindi pala. Hindi pala 10. Uh, 10, 10, 20, 40, 4, 64. Ayun, mali na tayo dun. Hindi tayo nag-calculate. 64. 64 times 2, 128. Yung. One twenty-eight yan. So this will become one twenty. Divide both sides by negative eight. So one twenty divide by eight. Yun fifteen. The daughter's age is fifteen. Sir, may shortcut po dyan. Yes, balik ka dito sa two equations to unknowns. Uh, mode. Okay, mode. Tignan mo dito. Complex stat equation. So, 5. Mode 5. Tignan mo dyan yung linear equation to unknowns. So, that is 1. Mode 5, 1. Ilagay mo yung coefficient nung nasa taas. 2M. Okay. Negative 6. Tapos 8 yung nasa dulo. Sa baba, that is 1. That is 1. 64. You just press equal. So, x, you let this as x, yung mother's age is 49, and sa daughter will be 15. Okay. Ganun lang po kadali yun. Kapag board exam, gamitin nyo yan. Okay? Very basic po. How about? Okay, how about? Problem number 5. Six years ago, Nilda was five times as old as Risa. In five years, Nilda will be three times as old as Risa. Now, all I want to do is to table it out. Lagyan natin sa table. Gawa tayo ng table dito. Okay. Ito yung pinakamabisa kasi na gawin natin. Okay. Yun. So, meron tayong past, present, and you'll have Future. Lagay natin si Nilda at Riza. Lagay natin si Nilda, Riza. Now the condition. Six years ago, okay, six years ago daw, Nilda was five times as old as Riza. So, let us denote that okay, past. If Nilda or Riza is the reference point, hindi natin alam yung kay Nilda. Okay? Gawin natin Riz, uh, reference point si Riza. Now, 6 years ago, ibig sabihin that is X minus 6. Ang condition mo, Nilda was 5 times, was 5 times as old as Riza. So, 5 X minus 6. And in the future, okay? Nilda will be three times as old as Risa. So, in the future, okay? Five years, in five years. So, again, in five years, okay? In five years, plus five. Nilda will be three times as old as Risa. So, three plus x to the fifth. x plus five. Now, meron tayong mabubong equation dyan. Yes. Okay? Total natin lahat para makuha natin. Ano ba meron dyan? So, unahin muna natin yung ito nasa taas at nasa baba. Okay? Yun yung reference natin. So, that is 3x minus, saan nagmula? Uh, 3x, hindi pala plus, 3x plus 15. Sinimplify ko na. Okay? 
nandito muna sa future. Present, wala tayo. Bumalik ka sa past. Okay? Minus, okay? 5x, 5 times 6, that is 30. Equal to, yung x, plus 5, future ka ulit, okay? Huwag mong pansin yung nasa gitna. x plus 5, minus, nasa baba eh. Minus, x minus 6. Tama ba? Ayan. So, further simplifying, 3x plus 15 minus 5x plus 30 equal to x minus x. Cancel na yan. Okay. 5 minus minus plus 6. Okay. Simplify pa natin. 3 minus 5x negative 2x Uh, plus 45 equal to 11. Pagsamayin natin yung magkakaparehas. 2x equal to 45 minus 11. Divide na lang natin ng 2. x will be ilan? How many years old? So, 45 minus 11. Divide by 2. So, Nilda or Risa will be 17 years old. Okay. Wala na ano, wala na tayong uh, shortcut shortcut diyan. Ito na po ang pinaka shortcut, yung magtable ka. 'Di ba pag na problema ka, magte-table ka talaga. How about this. At present, the sum of the parents' age is twice the sum of the children's ages. Okay? Five years ago, the sum of the parents' ages was four times the sum of the children's ages. 15 years hence, ibig sabihin in the future, the sum of the parents' ages will be equal to the sum of the children's ages. How many children are there? Nako, problema yan. Hindi natin alam yung number of children na meron sila. Okay? Ang problema, hindi rin natin alam. Ano ba yung children nila? Quadruplets? May twins? Okay? Or simply just simultaneous na ipinakanak? Hindi natin alam. So, the best way for us to do this is to write the, uh, write the table, okay? Mag-table ulit tayo. Siyempre, dalawa lang naman ang, ang nanay at tatay ng bata na yan, di ba? Hmm, ayan. So, meron kang past. Okay, present. And then, future. Hmm. Pero ang parents, pero ang children. Now, hindi natin alam yung number of children na meron ka dyan. Okay? So, ganito ang gagawin natin. At present, sabi dito, the sum of the parents' ages is twice the sum of the children's ages. So, let x as the sum of the children's ages. And then, twice as that is for the parents. Now, five years ago or in the past, the sum of the parents' ages was four times the sum of the children's ages. So, this is five years ago. So, x minus five. Hindi natin alam yung number of children. So, we denote this as n. Okay? And then, sabi dito, Twice the sum of the children's ages. Twice the sum. Okay? So, I think this is uh, twice nung sa children's ages minus 10. Sir, bakit naging twice? O, di twice. You know, five years ago, twice. And then, in the future, sabi dito, uh, 15 years hence, the sum of the Parents' ages will be equal to the sum of the children's ages. So, this is x plus 15. Okay. Dalawa yung parents. Okay. Dalawa yung parents. Hindi mo pwedeng tatlo yan. So, 2x plus twice. Okay. Twice nga. Okay. 15 times 2. Pag tumanda yung isa ng 15 years, tatanda din yung isa. Dito, bumata ng 5 years, bumata din yung isa. 
Kaya naging 10. Yun yung paliwanag doon. So, this is 30. Pagsamahin natin into one equation. So, 2x minus 10. That will be equal to. Asan dito yun? 2x, 2x. x minus 5n. Dito. Okay? 2x. Hmm. Ba nagmula yan? Ayun, 4 times the sum of the children's ages. Andito, 4 times the sum of the children's ages. 4 times the sum of the children's ages. Simplify natin to. So, 2x minus 10 equal to 4x minus 20n. Samasamayin natin. So, 2x, 4x. Bale, 2x equal to 20n minus 10. This is equation 1. How about yung pangalawa? Ito naman, yung nasa baba. Okay? X, sabi dito, ayun na sa future. Uh, sum of the children's ages will be equal. May binigay dyan. Okay? Uh, equation 1. Hindi pala. Meron pala tayo equation 1. Sim kahit di ko na-simplify ito, ah. So, equation 2, ito naman, dito ako magmula. Uh, 2x plus 30 equal to x plus 15n. Nakalimutan ko dito. x plus 15n. Sir, saan mo nakuha yung equation na yan? Sabi dito, 15 years since the sum of the parents' ages will be equal. Future. Ito yung sa past. Okay. So, 2x, bali x, equal to 15n minus 30. This is second equation. Now, anong pinakamabisa dito? Hmm, pwede naman po na, ito, simplify ko na. Divide ko na ito lahat. O, oh, pwede yan. That will be, uh, equate natin ha. x equal to 10n minus 5. Ito naman x equal to 15n minus 30. Okay, minus na natin dalawa. Minus. Cancel na to. 10 minus 15, I think that is negative 5n minus minus plus equal to 0. Tapos to, 25. Divide na lang natin both sides by 5 or negative 5. Therefore, n will be 5. Lima yung anak nila. Okay, sir. Technique again. Mode 5, 1. Two equations, to unknowns. Kahit di mo na simplify to. 2x minus 20. Ilipat mo lang dito sa kabila yung 20. Okay, minus 10. Dito naman sa baba. Uh, that is 1. Ilipat mo ulit sa kabila. Negative 15. Negative 30 yung dulo. The answer will be 45 and 5. Ang dami mo naman children. So, absurd na yun. So, ang tamang sagot is Y. Y is 5. Or N is 5. Okay? That is for problem 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How about problem number 7? Find the term involving Y fifth in the expansion of 2x squared plus y raised to 10. So, y term ang hinahanap natin. Uh, excuse me. So, paan natin malalaman na pang anong term siya? Mm -hmm. uh, paano nga ba? Meron akong tinurong technique dito sa algebra. Balikan nyo na lang yung video nandun yun. Yung shortcut niya. Tapos ko na rin kasi ito sobrang dami. Dito lang yan. Alam ko, tinuro ko yan. Ayan. For the white term, paano po ba? Ito yung pinaka-technique niya. For the white term. Okay? That is NCR. 
x raised to. Hanapin mo si y8. Okay? Ito yun. Yung white term equal to nc ncr ulit tayo x raised to n minus r y raised to r Ang inaanap mo kasi y5 So y5, anong term mo yan? Paano mo nalaman? Hindi given So, syempre n, ano ba yung n dito sa isa yung ano pang ilan term? Hindi natin alam to So, paano masasolve? Gamitin mo to Okay Why R is 8? So, therefore, R is 8 dito. R is 8. Hanapin mo nalang yung N. Ilang number of terms ka meron? Inulit ko na lang ba? 8 term. Y to the 5. So, parang inulit lang yung problem. Ginawa ko lang 5. So, this is, we have 10 terms. N is equal to 10. R is equal to 5. Oh, C, R is 5. X Okay. Ito kasi yung x mo dyan. Okay. X, n. Ano yung n? That is 10 minus r. R is 5. Uh, y to the 5. Pang ilang term daw siya. Kahit di mo na consider ito eh. Malalaman mo na kung pang ilang term siya. So, that is 6 term. Okay? 6 term yan. Ang inaanap lang naman, find the term involving. Ano daw yung term? Yung buo. Okay. Diretso na natin. Ano ba yung pinaka-general formula niya dyan? Okay? If this is the 6 term, this is, ah, uh, 10 C to the uh, 6 term minus 1 X yung X mo dyan kasi itong buo okay ito this is Y dapat nga ito AB okay kasi nakakalito yan 2 X squared raised to N minus R plus 1 tapos yung y ano yung y mo dyan? y lang na din man y lang din naman r minus Okay. So, 6 term. 10C5. Alapin mo na dito. Mode 1. Okay. Mode 1. Uh, nasaan dito NCR ito? Nasa taas ng uh, division sign. NCR. So, 10 tapos 5. The answer is 252. 252 2 x squared. 2x squared n is 10 minus 6 plus 1, uh, y raised to 6 minus 1. Okay. 10 minus 6 plus 1, that is 5. Okay. 2, 5, equal to uh, 2x squared raised to the 5th, y raised to the 5th. So, 2, 5, 2. 2 raised to the 5th. 2 raised to the 5th. Okay. 2 raised to the 5th power. That is 32. 32. X raised to the 10th. Kasi naka-power to. So multiply. Y to the 5th. So 2, 5, 2 times 32. 8064 8064 x to the 10th power y to the 5th 
Sir, may shortcut po ba para malaman yung number of terms kapag Y ang given? Yes, there is. Pakita ko sa inyo. So, Y, blank mo lang to. Okay? Hindi natin alam. Equal to. Binigay sa'yo Y to the fifth. Ano ba formula niyan? Uh, sa general, R minus 1. So, R minus 1 equal to X. Ano lang yan. Minus mo dun, X will be, ano yung term na hinahanap mo? 5, 5 minus 1. Malilipat mo sa kabila, magiging 6. Okay? Yun lang yan. So, uh, that will be 4, number 7, I think. The next one. Okay. A tank can be, a tank can be filled. Dali ah. A tank can be filled in 9 hours by one pipe. Okay. So, pipe 1. 9 hours yung kanyang rate. Second pipe, 12 hours. And can be drained when full by a third pipe in 15 hours. Fifteen hours. Yon. So, how long will it take to fill an empty tank with all pipes open in operation? So, ganito yan. Meron kang tanky. Eh. Si pipe 1 may rate na 9 hours. Si pipe 2 can fill it in 12 hours. Si tank 3 can uh, unload all its unload all its contained uh, water in 15 hours. So, this is minus, this is plus, this is plus. So, in order to complete one job, okay, so one entire job, how many minutes or how many hours can they do it? So, the time, okay, one job, kaya ang gawin 9 hours, plus one job can be done by second pipe in 12 hours, and another one can, ano, empty it out, in 15 hours. So, oh, pwede natin makuha yung number of hours when they are operating all in their conditions, gan nila kabilis ma fill the wind tank. You know? From empty, okay, to the brim. So, 1 over T equal to, samasamain natin yan, 1 over 9 plus 1 over 12 7 over 36. Minus 1 over 15. Yan. 23 over 180. So, cross multiplying, okay. T, the time is equal to 180 over 23. Or, okay, resipro ka lang natin. That is 7 hours, 7.82 hours. 7.82 hours. Okay. Okay. So, I think that will be all now for the uh, work problems. Uh, for the first half ng ating worded problems. Okay? So, I will continue this in a bit.